What up, Fit Gang? Welcome to the Fitness University, and today we're going to talk about the real deal, the myths, and how it actually works. One of the most commonly asked questions I ever get is, how do I get rid of belly fat, that pesky abdominal fat? And first thing is first, no amount of crunches, sit-ups, or any of that is going to get rid of your belly fat, period. It doesn't work like that. To put it simply, there is just no way to spot reduce fat. Just because you're doing bicep curls doesn't mean that you're losing fat in your arms. Just because you're doing squats doesn't mean you're losing fat in your legs. That's just not how it works. Your body burns fat as a whole and your body chooses where the fat is going to leave from. And that depends on several factors. So to get rid of the abdominal fat, you have to lower your body fat percentage as a whole. And that can only be done through diet. And by diet, I mean being in a caloric deficit, meaning that you're burning more calories than you're consuming. Everyone has abs. We're all born with abs, just that the majority of us have a layer of fat covering our abs, okay? So a diet requires discipline and consistency to be successful. You have to stick to the plan. The goal is to burn the stored fats that are already on your body and that are sitting on top of the muscle that you're attempting to get visible. Now, there's a huge difference between losing weight and actually burning fat. You can get on the scale in the morning and weigh one amount and then get on a scale in the evening and weigh a whole lot more. That's because you've eaten during the day, you've consumed water during the day. Losing water weight is temporary. Burning fat, that's something that's done through consistency, diet, and discipline. So you might ask, so why do people do abdominal exercises if they don't help you lose weight and if they don't help you lose fat? That's because not everyone's abs are shaped the same. We all have abs. Some people's abs are blockier and thicker. Some people's abs are more shallow. Now, once you lower your body fat percentage, that's when I suggest you incorporating the abdominal exercises into your routine so that you can sculpt your abs. That's what exercises are for, to sculpt the muscle, to make them more defined. That's when you need to include them. Now, the downside to abdominal exercises, especially for women, is that the more you pump any muscle, the thicker it's going to get. So if you have no intentions on wanting a wider or thicker waistline, I don't suggest that you do weighted abdominal exercises. The one thing I hate to see is when I'm in the gym and women grab one of those weights and they do this exercise right here. They grab the weight and then they do this action right here. All that's going to do is thicken your obliques and make your waist wider. Just like any kind of crunches with weight when people get the machine and they do this action right here, you're going to thicken your waistline. So I don't suggest that you do any weighted exercises, especially for women, unless you play maybe a contact sport or you need a thicker, stronger waistline. It's not for you, okay? So remember, pay attention to your macros so that you can be in a caloric deficit. You need to find out how much you need to be consuming on a daily basis. Remember, Burning 3,500 calories equals one pound of fat. This is not including water weight and all those other things. Pure fat. 3,500 calories to burn one pound of fat. That means if you're in a caloric deficit of 500 calories a day, it would take you one whole week to burn one pound of fat. Now throw some exercise and training on top of that. It's going to help to add to your caloric deficit so that you're burning even more calories. You're going to have your diet where you're in a caloric deficit. You're burning more calories than you're consuming. And then you want to do your exercises so that you're burning even more calories. And that's going to help you lose weight even faster. So don't worry about doing ab exercises. There's no need to do them on a daily basis at all. That's not going to help to burn your fat. You need to focus on diet, discipline, consistency, and training three or four times a week. You'll be good. Good luck.